The family, the family rather, of the Florida man who shot a black teenager says he's getting a bad rap in the court of public opinion. George Zimmerman's family says he was acting in self-defense, even though he has a history of aggression. Eyewitness News reporter Randall Pinkston has the new details from Sanford, Florida. Patrick is just over a month since the death of Trayvon Martin, just over a week since a special prosecutor took over the investigation, and we do not know whether George Zimmerman will face charges in a court of law. We do know that in the court of public opinion, the battle rages on. Mr. Zimmerman, if we ask Mr. Robert Zimmerman Jr. says his younger brother acted in self-defense when Trayvon Martin attacked him last month. In a CNN interview, he said George Zimmerman stopped someone from disarming him and shooting him. You return force with force when someone assaults you. As a neighborhood watch volunteer, Zimmerman thought Martin looked suspicious and followed him along the street and around the corner. Robert Zimmerman Jr. says Martin confronted his brother, punching him in the face and knocking him to the ground. George was out of breath. He was barely conscious. His last thing that he remembers doing is moving his head from the concrete to the grass. He says Zimmerman then pulled out his 9mm pistol and fatally shot Martin in the chest. But in surveillance video taken 40 minutes after the attack, Zimmerman has no obvious face or head injuries. Police let Zimmerman go after they determined there wasn't enough evidence to charge him. The Sanford community is preparing for another protest tomorrow in support of Trayvon Martin. There will be a march followed by a rally in front of police headquarters. What are you doing? Justice! The case continues to spur protests around the nation. I feel like this wasn't an insula uh, isolated incident. This happens all the time. Many demonstrators wear hoodies like Martin wore the night he was shot, even members of the California legislature. Several local businesses in downtown Sanford are not looking forward to this new protest. They say the demonstrations have been hurting their business. In Sanford, Randall Pinkston, Eyewitness News.